<laughs> well, thank you for coming. And again, sorry about... No, he's gone. He's... Uh, okay, he's gone. <sighs> I, I, I am really just at a loss for what... We're not getting any good ads. Well, I mean... I don't know about you, but he said he could train that bear to do anything. And I don't think it was unreasonable to say, oh, can you make it do a backflip? I mean, fine, he's going to be okay. He can go to the hospital. Everything's going to be all right. But not party material, not at all. I will say I do think it might be difficult for him to train another bear now that he's lost both of his arms. But um, I'm glad that that first bear, you know, got set free and, and let yeah. loose into the wild, even if only accidentally. Um, exactly. I will say this. We wouldn't have booked him, but it's a shame to lose the bear. Yeah. <sighs> oh, that bear, no? that could have been someone. Could have been someone. Yeah. I mean, we need someone to unveil as a surprise guest for the corporate St. Paddy Day's party. And we don't have anything. I just... <sighs> I did know a guy who knew a guy who knew about another guy. Yeah. <sighs> Honestly, I've always wondered, how do you know so many guys? Well, you see, I have this thing called uh, MySpace. Uh, <laughs> people keep saying that it's a dying social media, but I think it's really about to hit big some point mm. soon. Um, and I have, not to brag, four friends. Uh, and then on MySpace, I've also got a few people that I know as well. Um, but the important thing is that this guy who knew a guy who knew a guy, he, he mm -hmm. gave me uh, the, the the contact details of, of, of some of some singer or, or something maybe we could give him a go okay all right well we need to make sure that they're going to be you know relaxed they need to be on the ball concise and they need to wow us immediately i mean what we're on candidate 17 18 at this point we spent all day doing these auditions <sighs> okay okay should we should we i mean I've what are the chances they're going to be available though like I... <sighs> so i have him on hold I, i'll just I'll call him up. I'll I'll get him in the in the. So his name, uh, his name. What was his name now? Harv 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 Darvis. That was his yeah. name. Yeah. Oh right, right. Sorry, I thought I saw him on the manifest earlier. Is that? Are you sure it's not Ham Danvers? Because I've got him down as Ham Danvers. No, I think Harv Darvis. That is my that illegible scribble. Sometimes right. comes across as as Ham Danvers. Uh, yeah. No, his name was Harv. Um, tell you what, I'll. I'll send him a message now, and mm -hmm. hopefully he'll be able to join us. And he'll okay. Still... okay. The message sent. I'm down this. Oh wow, that was fast. Oh wow, Jesus. Okay, hello. Hello, fellas. Hi, hi, hi. Um, so is it? Is it? Sorry, I just just quickly need to clear this up. Is it Harv or Ham? It's Harv Davis, <sighs> inferior lounge singing. Yes, that's your right. suit. I thought that was what it was. I, uh, yeah, I'm, it's a good thing I can read my own handwriting sometimes. So, yeah, Harv, um, what, what, what kind of act do you do? What, what do you do? What's your shtick? My shtick is I sing from the heart to your heart. Mm -hmm. And yes, I'm happy to be here for the St. Patty's Day party audition for you and your company, my friends. And uh, I promise that I will leave you with a full heart of goodness. Okay, okay. That's more than the bear said. So, promising so far. I mean, at such and such enterprises, we sell such and such. It's important to make sure that you fit the bill, so to speak. So, Harv, do you mind if I ask, what's your main weakness? My main weakness? Hmm. My way main weakness, I would say, is not being able to woo and wow the entire population of planet Earth. Only most of it. Yes, yeah, mm. so that does seem like a, a pretty big weakness. Uh, we've had a few acts in here that have been able to claim more. So what, what, what about, okay, how about we change the tune a bit? What's your greatest strength? My greatest strength is bringing classics to you and the world in my own style, such as, oh, Danny boy, the hills of Dover will not be here or complete without your presence. 
once. Oh, Danny boy, but come ye back this way. We will not be happy until you come back that day. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. hmm, just a couple of hmms. Yes, uh, I, I liked it. Don't get me wrong. I did. I liked it. Uh, it had passion. It had passion, and the passion was good. I enjoyed that a lot. Yes. There's Thank you, my friends. Thank you. As you can see, I take full liberties with the classics and others, as well as my own original Harv Darvis inferior lounge singer numbers, bringing happiness to you and yours. Well, as I always say, it's very important to put your own personality into your art. That's why this painting behind me was painted on my own love and care. And also, uh, you know, my face and the rest yes, of it. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, whereas I have no personality. I just wanted to ask then, Harv, obviously we, we've seen you've got energy and we've seen you've got skill, but I just, I don't know if we're ready to quite commit to your kind of sensibility in your acts. We need to see some range, I think. Well, the interview is not over yet, my friend. Hmm. <laughs> it's true, we are still interviewing him. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want to see some more versatile Harv action, I would suggest this one. Oh, come get your cockles and muscles with Molly Malone. She's pulling her cart and hawking the cockles and muscles of Molly Malone. Alive. Life alive, oh, oh. alive, alive, oh, oh. cackles and muscles of Malay Malone. That takes some real skill, some real passion. Might I ask, is this going your your first gig? If you get this, would this be your first gig? Have you? done this kind of thing before because it really sounded like some professionalism there well my friend i need to inform you and educate you of my background which is on an international basis for multiple decades i have toured the planet sharing my passion and love for music and people in general mm, okay See, I hadn't expected that. I had no prior job experience before. Well, nepotism. But I really enjoy your use of the word cockles multiple times throughout that. In fact, it's one of my favorite words. I've written it down six times here. I just wanted to know, do you have any other favorite words you like to use or any business terminology? Ooh, the question is a good one. Hmm, I, I would say just... Uh mostly more feelings than terminology and again heart full of love sharing happiness with the world and empowering every person in my audience at every show okay hmm. now heart mm -hmm. full of love that sounds very how do i put it titanic Mm. And you seem like a singer of titanic proportions. W were, you, were you in that film? Well, no. At the last minute, I got cut for one of the director's nephews actually got the gig that I was qualified for, and he was not. But Hollywood, connections, if you don't have the connections, you don't get the gig. I think Josh knows a thing or two about nepotism. Um, <laughs> I know nothing about it because I had to work my way up, you know, climb every rung of the ladder painstakingly. I've been in this job for 50 years now uh, and I'm still lower than him, but that's fine. Um, it's, it's nice to know that there's no bitterness there. Hey, nepotism, am I right? I'm glad that we have something to bond over. <laughs> yeah, Excellent. yeah. Well, no wonder I'm the boss's favorite. Anyway, you were saying. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, you guys have your own kind of issues between you to yourselves. What right here today at this audition, it's all about Harv Darvis and fear Lounsinger or bringing in St. Patty's magic to your corporation this coming St. Patty's Day. And with that in mind, uh, it's all for me, Grog. Me jolly, jolly grog. It's all for my grog and tobacco. All oh, the beer and tobacco. It's all for me grog. It's all for my grog. My beer and tobacco. You better stay away from him. He'll rip your lungs out, Jim. And I would like to meet Elizabeth Taylor. Whoa, werewolves of Manchester. Werewolves of Manchester, where have you gone? It's all for my grog, my jolly, jolly grog, full of beer and tobacco. Ah, yes. Thank you, my friends. Seems like you're getting a bit emotional there at the office. Uh, no, 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 no emotions. Yeah, no, no, no childhood of grog being fondly remembered. No. Aha. Hey, you guys, uh, I, I've been at it for a while now. Do you have a, a restroom that I could possibly use? Uh, yeah, sure. Go, just go down the hall? Yeah, it's yep. quite well signposted. Uh, just follow the signs that say restroom yeah there may be okay. a tiny picture of a little man on the door that's yeah just i, I him. know it might be a little premature to uh, expect a harv darvis nameplate on the restroom but i'll take that into consideration and find that and i'll be back in just a few moments my friends okay take your time that's all right oi you two Mm hmm mm hmm yep. Just want to check how progress is going. <laughs> yeah, progress, progress. Hi, 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 boss, dad, hi. Uh, <laughs> it's Billy Bosshead, dad, to you. Yeah, sorry, sorry, dad, Billy Bosshead, dad, sir. <clears throat> now, Josh, little yep. Josh, I know you're my favourite, mm -hmm. but you're next on the line. <laughs> There's a lot at stake here. I've ordered... 200 cans of Guinness and other non-specific Irish lagers, and that's not even for the party. That's just for me. That's how stressed I am. How's it going? Who have you seen? Well, um, we're on our 19th one uh, uh, now, um, uh, boss. And, uh, and, and boss, boss, Billy Boss Head. Billy, dad. Billy Boss Head, of course. I'm sorry, Billy Boss Head. Oh, I always forget. Dad. That. dad, you're my dad as well. Yeah, we're brothers, in fact. Oh, I, I just... Okay, yes, we're on our 19th audition now. We had a bear, but the bear got let loose. So we had to, you know, we had to find like a new person. And I, I, I don't know. I think, I, think, I think it's going well. I, yeah. I think it's going well. Well, I, Good. I, 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 think, I think it's going even better than that. I think it's going even better than well. Boss, Billy, Dad. Good. Or, but, yeah, I, look, I think we, we just need to hear a few few more things from him. We haven't really quite got the, the, the core values from of the business out yet. Uh, oh, your current act. Oh, I want to know nothing. Last year, we had an Elvis tribute act, and it was awful. It was yeah. terrible. I was he was there. walking the line, and I was taking him there. It was terrible. Okay, well, now, yeah. After a few minutes, I'm just going to find that and get a selfie. You know I love animals, so yeah. I'll be back. But I'm warning you, we have a reputation to uphold here at such and such, and therefore our sister company is nearly bankrupt. So you better watch it, you two. Right, I'll see you in a bit. Bye for now. Bye, Billy. Bye, Dad. Dad. <sighs> okay, uh, welcome back, Harv. Um, Hi. Hi, Harv. Thank you. That was a, a relief break just in time, if you know what I mean. Yeah, um, so, I mean, honestly, 
how, I, we're on the precipice of hiring you, I think. I, I hope I'm not too forward of saying this. Um, yeah. I think we're nearly there. We just need, you know, a couple more. Um, if you could, you know, give us a, a bit more to work with and, and maybe we'll, 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 we'll really nail, nail that hire, you know? Gotcha. Well, if you go, lassie, go, and we'll join the summertime together with the wild mountain time all in the blooming heather i want you to go lassie go and we'll all go together in this wild mountain time along the blooming heather oh go go absolutely marvelous um, I have, sorry, could you just, just could, could, I, could I take a quick sidebar with my um, brother and, and colleague who didn't get by, by nepotism? Uh, I'll, just, I'll just assume you can't hear us. Jake? Yes, yeah, yes, uh, Josh? Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I just, I think we need to hire someone now. I think our dad, who likes me more, yeah. is pretty angry at this point, and I think we just need to we need to nail this. And maybe he let me in by nepotism. Obviously, he took a bit of a break with you. Mm. Maybe he can finally give you that promotion. So mm. we're actually the same job. And we can maybe work out a few of our own personal issues that we won't go into now. Especially since I do much, more, much, much, much more work than you do. And I really yeah. do think that this could be the, 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 the straw that breaks the camel's back for, for yeah. my you know, career. I just... Camels? God, don't tell me there's another animal I've got to take a selfie with. No, 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 that no. was the first act, and the camels are gone now. I think they're back on the boat, ah. so probably not. How's it going, lads? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. I think we're nearly there. You know, I think we, we, we're very close to the hire. We, we've nearly got the guy. Good. Good. Well, I've just had the Elvis Presley estate phone me up and tell me that Walk the Line is apparently not Elvis's song. Well, thank you very much. I don't think so. Do you know what I told them to? I told them to go into a ring of fire. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> oh, Dad, I understand all of your jokes. Hello, Who's boss this? man. I'm, I'm Harv Darvis, inferior lounge singer, lead candidate for the St. Paddy's Day party for such and such corporation. Harv Darvis, inferior lounge singer. I have your first tape. I've got it on tape. I play it in my car. I am honored. Oh, oh, I've got your Christmas album. I've got your Halloween records. Oh, and do, uh, do you know what? The B side is a lot better than the A side. Not many people realize that because the A side is so good. <laughs> you are indeed a detailed listener, my friend. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, lads, uh, have you? Don't tell me that you've been trying to get Harv Darvis to sing at the party. Well, actually, it was me who found him. Um, I knew a guy who knew a guy, <laughs> yeah. knew a guy and, and he, it was me that found him. Really yeah, it was, it, was, it was him that found him, but Dad, really funny. He wrote it down as Ham Damvis. <laughs> so I read that my handwriting him. doesn't mean that that's what I wrote, Josh. Ham Damvis <laughs> is the tribute act for Harv Darvis. Mm -hmm. I can see the confusion. Harv, oh, it would be lovely to have you on board. Boys, I love you. No, I'm so I'm very proud of you. Well done, Jake. That. It's so amazing to finally hear one You're very close words. to coming back to the family, Jake. Harv, will you sing us out one more time? Hey, let's get the bear. Bear, come on, come back. Let's all listen. Well, thank you very much, sir, and I am deeply honored by your devotion to my, my craft, and I am uh, 
again, honored to be part of this process and hopefully to get this uh, engagement with the fine such and such company. Cause we're on the one road, taking the low road, the road to God knows where. It's the one road, taking that low road, and we're all together, and that's all I care. Southland, Northland, comrades all. Belfast, Dublin, Cork and Donegal, take the one road, taking the low road to God knows where. Oh, oh, proper. Oh. Ah. How was that, my friends? Perfecto, perfecto. Do you think possibly I have the engagement or do you need more time to figure that out? When is St. Patrick's Day? Wednesday. You're, you're in. You're in. Ho, ho, ho. If it was Thursday, we would have had to think about it, but Wednesday, too close to the line. Ah, even with all that devotion and my initial tape in your car that you listened to over and over again, still a tough decision, but you know what it points to? Harv Darvis, inferior lounge singer, still has the X factor. Uh -huh. a from me. Amazing. And we still have the bear, right? So we've got the finest double act for our St. Paddy's Day party of the century. And Dad, I, I know it's it's not quite Father's Day yet, but I was hoping you'd do me the amazing honour of firing my brother. Well, you could do me the amazing honour of promoting me. Mm. I, think, I think we'll have some beers. Harv, we'll have a beer on Patrick's Day. And we'll we'll settle this over a sing song. Why don't you? What do you say? Get me in, boss. Fantastic. Well, I'll see you soon, boys. I'm off to uh, do uh, at the end of the day. Tell everyone to go home, and uh, it's a bit of a ritual, so a bit bit tight for time. But thanks very much, everybody. I can't wait for the party. See you later. Bye, Dad. Bye. I love you. Bye, love, love, love you. I love you more than he does. <laughs> Oh, it's funny. Seems <laughs> like you guys still have some things to work out. I'm Harv Darvis, inferior lounge singer. I want to sign out here as well. I want to thank you for the engagement and the work, and I will see you Wednesday with uh, Out My Bear. Uh, it's just Harv Darvis, inferior lounge singer, signing off. Take care, my friends, and thank you once again. The world loves you and says hello. So long, Harv. Thank you. <sighs> what a roller coaster that's been. I hate you. Yeah. Yeah. You wanna play uh, Rocket League? I can play Rocket League. Nice! Rocket League! Let's go! <laughs> oh, I love Rocket League. Rocket League, yeah! Yeah!